The Earth's population is currently 7 billion and of the 7 billion, 24% are malnourished. That's 1.5 billion people without access to proper nutrition. And with the global population still rising, this problem shows no sign of abating in the near future. The thing is, our bodies are kind of like skyscrapers. And just as skyscrapers require steel, concrete, and bricks to be strong and shiny, our bodies need carbohydrates, fats, and proteins to grow tall and healthy. Unfortunately though, most of the growing population in the developing world isn't able to maintain a steady protein diet. Our Shell Idea tackles that very issue to introduce an alternative protein to the open market. And that new protein is cricket meat, produced in environmentally friendly, healthy and cheap to run cricket farms, providing people with an affordable and abundant source of nutrition. And why not crickets? Crickets are full of iron, protein, and B12. They provide more iron than beef does and nearly as much calcium as milk. And they've been environmentally friendly as well as crickets produce 1 18th the amount of methane that cattle do and only need 1 12th their feed and land. Plus they reproduce really quickly. As far as technical details go, the idea is quite simple. The main component of the cricket farm is a cricket kit. Each kit comprises of two 14-gallon PVC boxes, one nursery and one rearing container, which also has an egg-laying box. Both of the boxes are lined with soil and have gauze-covered breathing holes. Each kit costs around $15 to $18. Running the farm is easy as well. Introduce around 50 adult crickets to the rearing box and wait till the females lay the eggs. Then shift the egg laying box to the nursery so that the baby crickets can grow without any bullying. Crickets generally complete their life cycle in 8 to 12 weeks and are harvested when they're 6 weeks old. Crickets have a broad diet, but we plan on feeding them fruits and vegetables, which is both healthy and brings down the running costs. But how is this different from any other cricket farm, you might ask? Well, we aim to be a model farm, providing the technical expertise to new farmers so that they can start their very own operations. In this way, it will not only make nutrition available for people who need it, but also can be a source of income for people in the developing world by selling their excess stock. P.S. Crickets are delicious. We've tried them.